Hello everyone, this video is of the Amy Cup Crystal, uh, one of the two different styles of menstrual cups that the Athena Holding Company offers. Uh, I did do another video of the original Amy Cup, so if you're looking for that you can check out my channel. I'm going to do a quick turnaround of this box so that you can see it. If you need to pause it, you can. Uh, this cup costs $23.43, however, um, it might fluctuate on the website that I purchased my cup on. Um, first of all, you can see that it's made in Italy and it is offered by the Athena Holding Company. Here is uh, their website and their email, which I will include in the description below as well. The two sizes that they offer are a size small and a size medium. I don't know if they're going to incorporate a size large later in the future. And the boxes for the small and the medium are exactly the same. Uh, they just indicate with a piece of um, closure tape here which size that is inside of the box. So as I was saying, this cup was $23.43 USD for me. Um, and I did purchase it off of the menstrualcup.co website. Um, I did write down that it cost $23.64 on my little note card here. And I do know that um, there was a couple of, of um, hub type of websites where you can get several different brands of menstrual cups um, in one place their prices do fluctuate and I don't know the reason for that um, but I just wanted to mention that so you don't come back and say you know you said it was only twenty three forty three and when I purchased it it cost me twenty three sixty four um, so just know that it might you might see a difference in um, a price from what I'm um, stating that it was for me so um, in the box you do get a pouch with each of the cups and they are um, marked with Amy Cup Crystal. It's a cute little pouch. I like it a lot. It's a light blue. You probably can't see what color it is uh, with this camera though. Each box contains a rather large piece of uh, paper here with different uh, languages. There's another page. I'm not going to open it. Screw it. Um, so they're all in different languages, but there is an area that is just in English, and I hope I'm not making a whole bunch of noise. Um, pretty, pretty direct instructions. Um, it does say that you can boil this cup for three minutes to sterilize it. Uh, the kind of lost in translation on some of the wording. Um, but it's it's easy to follow. Um, I like that they have two different folds here, not just the C fold or what they also call the heart fold, but they have a tulip fold um, picture here. Uh, in the warnings it says the Amy Cup crystal must be removed before sexual intercourse. Um, I think that a lot of cup companies do include that in their um, instructions because they don't want people to think that they can use it for a contraceptive. Um, I have used a few different cups so far um, while I was having se sexual intercourse. However, this cup is quite firm and I don't think it's going to be very comfortable for me or my husband um, to use it during that time and I'm going to take off my jacket since I'm kind of matchy matchy with the cup. So here are the two Amy cups that I purchased um, my small size and my medium size and I'm going to just remove the small so that I can talk about um, one of them and they're not falling all over the place. Um, like I said they only come in the two sizes size small and size medium and they only come in this uh, blue color, and it's a really pretty color. I like it a lot, and actually that is what um, drew me to this cup in the first place, because it is kind of one of my favorite colors. Uh, this cup is a silicone cup, and it is a smooth uh, cup, but it has kind of a frosted effect to it. Um, I don't know if you can really see that. It's not completely clear. And if I pinch down on the cup and pull, 
my fingers don't slide right over it. It is a bell-shaped cup and it's shorter than most of my other bell-shaped cups even for the medium size. Uh, it is a very firm cup and I think it did say that this was closer to a 60 shore um, rating and I do have a cup that was tested at 60 shore and it feels more close actually I have a 60 and a 70 shore rating cup and um, it feels more close to the 70 shore rating cup so um, it is a firm cup um, it is a bell shape did I already say that oh well it is a bell shaped I said it again um, the stem on my medium sized cup broke off when I was trying to um, just kind of mess around with it to describe if I, I was looking for the words to describe um, how stretchy it was and it, if it was uh, flimsy all the way around and whatnot so I saved my stem and I wasn't even pulling it very hard I just kind of taped it to my cup box bin lid thing um, I wasn't really pulling it very hard but I, w I was just pulling it about this much and it snapped off and um, I was pretty pretty upset about that because I hadn't even used the cup and then I thought you know if this cup was inserted and it snapped off, off inside of me I would have been pretty pissed um, but here is the stem intact on my small cup and you can see that there are three bumps on there and I wish that the design was flopped so that the big um, ball was at the tip because when I um, pinch down on it and pull on the silicone they kind of disappear into the stem and they don't really lend a good gripping area and when you get to that small ball it doesn't even help hold your finger in place so uh, not not a very uh, useful stem in my opinion. Uh, it does stretch until you snap it off. Uh, I don't know if I just stretched it a little too far or what. I have no idea. I, like I said I wasn't really pulling it that hard on it and you can see on this little one I have some extra silicone right at the tip and then there's like a break in it um, where it's I can't really focus very good but you can still see that there's a little um, piece like kind of missing or uh, like I can stick my finger between that area um, but <clears throat> it does move in all directions there's no resistance any way around it so um, it when I used the small it was uh, fairly comfortable it didn't bother me at all but uh, I really just kind of passed up the the stem just because I knew or just because my medium um, size cup stem broke off on me I didn't want to break the small one too so I, I really had to um, bypass that and go for the grip rings uh, in my review which I will leave at the end of this video um, I did say that I had a hard time with this cup removing it because it's such a short cup and my cervix is really high that I had a really hard time reaching for the cup and um, I would have liked to use the stem while while I had the small in actually even with the medium I, I wish that I could use the stem um, and be confident that it wasn't going to break on me uh, so moving on from that, if you're interested more, go ahead and watch my review on um, the cup itself. Right underneath the, the stem, there are these three grip rings, and they're not raised off of this cup a whole bunch. Um, they're pretty wide, and they are rounded, and that's a nice design for anybody that is sensitive to those things. Um, before I forget to mention, there is no um, real heavy-duty seal between the stem and the cup itself. Um, so if you're cutting that, I would probably leave some of the stem intact. Because if you try to flush it out with the cup itself, you might cut right into the cup. And you can see how shallow 
that um, seam is or that seal is between the stem and the cup itself. Um, going down the cup, there's another ring here, and it, it doesn't say anything about this ring in the papers. Um, I, it, it's um, blah, blah blah. So sorry. It is present on the original Amy cup as well, and I'm thinking that it either is for a grip ring when you're handling your cup, like when you're holding it in different um, folds so that your fingers don't slide off um, or it could be kind of like a secondary rim where because that's a little thicker it gives some um, extra resistance to help that rim pop open. This cup has four suction release holes and they are evenly spaced around the cup. They're quite small, kind of like a pinhole there and you can see down into it. They're um, positioned quite close to the top of this rim and that's a really good design because you get to use the whole capacity of this cup before you hit those suction release holes. Um, and they are drilled, punched, molded in a downward um, motion so f the highest point of the the hole is on the inside and then it moves down into the cup diagonal and uh, the opening to the outside is lower than the rim. There's no markings on the inside of the cup, so that's nice if you're worried about any blood getting trapped in any of like the measurement lines or numbers. Uh, there is nothing like that on the inside. The outside is branded with their Amy Cup name, and it says Crystal right at the end of that and their Amy Cup logo flower. And on the other side it is marked with a large M. Uh, the small cup is marked with a small S or a large S, sorry. And then these numbers here I think are their model number. So there's an M in there and there's an S in here so I'm guessing that means you know that this is a small and this is the medium but I don't know for sure. I had some hard time contacting this company so I'm not even going to try to ask them questions about it. Um, I did read that I could send back this cup at my own expense for a full refund of the price of the cup. Um, however, I would have to send it to Italy and the shipping alone would just eat away at the money that I would get back so I'm not even going to um, attempt to do that. It's just kind of a useless attempt for me. Um, <clears throat> to, oh, seams. Sorry, I kind of lost the train of my train of thought. There are seams that go all the way down the body of one side of the cup, up and around the stem, and back down the other side. And you can see that really well in this uh, light here. The seam on the body isn't very raised. I can barely feel it, so those probably won't give you any problems. However, there is a seam that runs around the top of the rim here, and you can see close up that it is kind of jagged. Uh, they didn't pay attention to that detail and finish it up nice and clean. So it is raised pretty all pretty much all the way around the cup, and there's some jagged areas. These things aren't um, bothersome for myself, but if you are very sensitive to those kinds of things, that is there. Um, there's a little piece of silicone sticking up still there, and on this other side. So. Uh, again, know that they are there if you're sensitive to those things. I did my own measurements uh, for this cup except for the capacity measurement. Um, so when I measured it, because there's not really a seal between the stem and the cup itself, I wanted to give you a f safe trimming uh, measurement which I measured at approximately 50 millimeters. Um, I think they said it was 49 uh, flush with the cup, but uh, again, you have to go a, you know, a couple millimeters above that 
uh, so you don't cut into your cup. So 50 millimeters is what I came out with. And then the diameter on this is 47 millimeters. Um, I didn't do my own capacity measurement, so I went off of what the website said, and they claim that this cup holds 38 milli milliliters um, to, I'm guessing, the top of this rim. However, because, like I said, the holes are almost to the top of that rim, um, you pretty much have the full 38 milliliters to fill this cup up. Um, when I do a measurement, I will update this video with what I found. That's all I have to share with you about the Amy Cup Crystal at this time. If you have any additional questions or if I forgot something, you can leave them in the comments below or find me on Facebook. All my information is in the description as well. Um, I'm going to leave some photos of this cup against some of the other cups that I have on hand just so that you can see how they measure up. Until I see you next time, take care! If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching!